Yo, yo, it's your boy Darnell King. Yo, what up? It's Toast Money, Santos. And you're now watching Music Exclusives TV. Yeah. Keep it locked. <laughs> Yo, it's your man, Pleasure P. Marsha Ambrosius. Tian Tilly. Wait, Eric Ballinger. 112. Tamia, and you're watching. Music exclusive. Music exclusive. Music exclusive. Music exclusive. TV. Don't stop until your body's soaking hey. wet. Okay. Hey. okay. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Chavis for Music Exclusives TV, and we've got the stars of Hustle in Brooklyn right here with us. How you guys doing? I'm good. How you doing? You good? Yeah, man. All How's right. Well? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I wanted to catch you guys before you all walked out. You know, we're behind the scenes of Spotlight. You know what I'm saying? This R&B Spotlight moment, mm -hmm. and you guys are both in music. So with the music game right now, like, where do you guys see it going? Well, essentially for me, I think we're in a great space because of the creative aspects out there right now yeah. um and then how easy it is for people to get music you know right. everyone is very very creative and in addition to being creative it's not it's not a, a, a strategic like a crazy way of servicing the music we have so many different platforms so which right. is a good thing right. it's a real, real good thing right to piggyback of what he said i think that music is in a is a, in a funny space right now and it's even funnier because you can drop a record tonight and go viral where the power of social media right yeah right so you don't need a label but the label still exists because they have certain mechanics that propel the artists to sustain them. Yeah, right. Okay. So there's nothing wrong with where we at. We just have to understand how to maneuver. How to maneuver, yeah. right. So you have a, an amazing record label in Brooklyn, studio, right? Yeah. So how did you two meet? And I mean, this is kind of going behind the scenes of a little bit of the show you guys should be watching. So for those that don't know, how did you guys meet? It's my brother. Word. We've been for, for, for years. We actually uh, met at Def Jam. Uh, right the ground level, street team level. Yeah. Back in the days, we called the guerrilla marketing. Mm -hmm. And uh, what happened was that, you know, this dude came into the um, the office thinking he was fly. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, who is this kid? Man? Who is this guy? Nah, we just had this natural vibe for hustling and grinding from from teens, from get, being out there. And we just yeah. figured out that, you know, actually working together was actually going to be more bene more beneficial to us in the long run, right, which right. is really, really good. Now, I know you know you've been in the game. Keep the mic, keep the mic. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give a little bit into like, each of your stories, yeah, you know what I'm saying, good. so they understand why you should be watching about the hustle, because that's what New York is about. It's about hustling, whether it's music, whether it's about fashion, it's about the passion. Right. So you've connected the dots with a lot of major influential people. Just to name a few, if they don't know, who have you worked with? Yeah, I mean, I, I deal a lot with big brands. Yeah. I, I was actually, uh, I was on a tour. I was Neil's role manager for like about seven years. Okay. So I got the opportunity to um, <clears throat> meet a bunch of different cool people. And then what I noticed was that these big brands out here wouldn't be associated to the culture because, uh, believe it or not, we control the cool factor. Yep. And we control what people like and what, how people dress and, uh, and everything about the culture. And I noticed that there was a misconnection between the culture and these big brands. So what I did was I started a company called Sense93 that actually connected the two. Oh. Without like this big political, oh, I need this amount of percentage. No, just let's connect the two. Right. You know, and uh, it's working out pretty well. That's dope, man. That's dope. That's dope. All right, Mr. D. King, tell us your background. What made you or inspired you to actually open the studio in Brooklyn? Um... It's, I was inspired by so many greats that came before me. Yeah. Like I saw Jay Z down the block giving out, you know, everything from dollars to gifts and stuff like that. And I saw what music did for him. Yeah. It's helped bridge the gap. So I wanted to be able to create and control my own destiny. That's what's up. And okay. build a studio was the first thing that I decided to do, because I knew that if I can control my own music and I could dictate how I make it and I, i'll be the plug that's what's up no worries so speaking of plugging let's plug in what you guys got coming up you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying i know you guys are working on some great things to do um working studio ep like yeah. what's coming up so um i'm working on a new ep Dope. called king's county okay it'll be out sometime i think before black friday all right and look um, out for that you know what i'm saying exclusives, yeah. exclusives. That's, how, that's what we do right here um also i'm dropping a record uh it's the record's out already okay it's called rick ross i dropped it out after uh the episode, Dope. episode four that you probably saw already right now. There you go. Episode four. Make sure you crazy. tune in. When, <laughs> when, 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 is this, when does the show air? And it's, of course, it's on BET. So when can they check it out? So the show was on Tuesday. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, I think that was the sixth. Yeah, every yeah. Tuesday at 10 p.m. So, Boom. Yeah. Every Tuesday at 10 p.m., make sure you check them out. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? They're giving you real hustles of what New York City is about. Right, 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 right. That's what's up. And what's going on with you, Mr. Santos? Yeah, I just want to add on to what uh, D was saying. Yeah. Um, that, you know, th as far as the show goes, the show is way different. It was shot way different. Right. You know, there's no green screen. We ain't going no closet confessing about nothing. Right. You know what I'm saying? This is like... Real shit. 
yeah, re- yeah. you know, is shooting on on site and the reactions that you're getting and on on site, which is good for the youth out there right now because nothing is just made up. Yeah, you know, it's no, ain't no fabrication to it. You get real reactions, real pro- so, uh, problems and solutions. How can they help hit you if they feel inspired? Those designers that are out there that might want to work with you, as well as artists. I know, um, guys, of course, on Instagram. You want to give those a shout out. Yeah. Yeah, well, D-Kin is my manager. So. <laughs> yeah, I get 20% of everything. <laughs> nah, nah, you just, me personally, I'm a, I'm a businessman. I want to partner with everybody. Right. And uh, if you want to reach out, you know, hit me up at 646-91. You know, I love doing that. You know I always that? do that to you. I always, like, every time we go we on, like, live, like, Instagram live, I, like, say his name, his number. Like, 646-9180. And then you go right there. Nah, just toast money. T-O-S money. Like, I really, I'm down to work with any designer, any person want to do business and yeah, move the culture yeah. forward. That's like, really, hit me up. That's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? It's about the hustle, connecting, and giving you exclusive access. My man Dito. My you know man Dito. My man yep, Dito. Yep. Let me just say you would find me at, find me at A-I-O-X-O-I-A. And people are like, yo, what the heck That's is that? I'm going to break it down for you. All right. Even though my name is Darnell, right. last name King, they call me D King. Right. AIO stands for all in one. All right. And X is unknown. You don't know what I could do. Dope. One and all. So that's what the whole, the whole you know what I mean? The Boom. whole name is. Music exclusive. And now you Music exclusive. Now you have it. <laughs> there you have it. You know what I'm saying? We're giving you exclusives with the stars of Hustle and Brooklyn. Make sure you tune in every Tuesday on BET. What time? 10 p.m. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Check these hustle boys out. Brooklyn. Support the hustle. Connect the dots. Your boy Chavis. Look for my new single, Rick Ross. Ricky Ross. Thanks for having Boom. us, man. Music exclusive. We out.